Perfect. And this is the, the view you want from inside the cab. So again, like I said on the Cat C reverse video, this is the video, it looks like you are driving over the cone, but you're not. So this is what you're looking for. You take your truck to the A1 cone, favoring the left cone, and you want to be able to see both cones, or the examiner will send you back to the start, okay? When we're in our position, you're obviously going to do your left mirror, your right mirror, and your blind spot check, yeah? Left mirror, right mirror, and your blind spot check. Okay, and then all we expect you to do is one full turn. Just like that. One full turn to the right, and then we reverse back, hold it there until the next reference point. Okay, okay, so at this point now you've done your one full turn to the right and now this is the view you want where the corner of your trailer is looks like it's touching the yellow boundary line. Then what you do then as soon as you get to this point then you are going to do two turns to the left hand side. Now once you've done that, this is what you're looking for now, as you can see the B cone, so we're nicely going around the B cone, this is now where we're going to start taking the lock off and start putting it into the box. So if at any point once you start your reversing, if you're not happy with where your position is going, you do have the ability to take two shunts to get yourself out of trouble. And at this point, you can actually take it as far down as you need, re realign yourself, and then you can come back straight. If, if you can trust yourself reversing in a straight line, it's not a bad option to have. So guys, when we're reversing back, there's a yellow tab, you can't really see it too much there, but we're gonna use the curb as the guide. So we're gonna put the tab 
onto the back of the kerb and that is the reference you're looking for to stop yourself without hitting the barriers. Are you happy with that? Yes. Good that. Perfect. Okie dokie guys, so this is what it should look like. As we said in the previous video, this is the yellow box with the black hat markings in. Your truck must be inside them black hat markings to get yourself a test pass. So it should look something like that. At this point now, the examiner will ask you, are you happy with that? And at this point, you do, you do have the choice to readjust, but you only get to do this one time, okay? So that is what you're looking for. Okie dokie, guys. So that was how to reverse a c and &E vehicle to get a test pass for your 3A reversing module, okay? That was the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your future 3A tests. Peace out, guys. Are you happy with that? Yes. Good that. Perfect. <laughs>